We need some nice weather for that. I know. And it's it still a, a, a week away, right? I know, yeah, right? Yeah. It is actually yeah, a full week yeah. away. It's weird because it's on a Tuesday this year, but it typically is hot and it typically comes with some thunderstorms here in North Carolina. Now, thankfully, today was a whole lot drier than yesterday, right? A lot of folks getting out, enjoying some sunshine across the area. Lake not as busy as it is over the weekend, but there are still some folks that out there spend a little time on the water. Temps this afternoon were a little cooler than yesterday and of course didn't have the storms. Right now we have got temperatures in the 70s. So we're at 78 degrees in Winston-Salem. Our humidity is fairly low for this time of night because we've got dew points in the low 60s. So some drier air coming in with the north wind across the area. In Mount Airy, 73 degrees with a light north wind. Dew point at 60 degrees. And in Sparta, we're cooler at 63 degrees right Right now, so we're looking at morning temperatures that'll be down in the 50s in the mountains and low to mid 60s across the triad. Right now, we are in the 70s around town. You'll notice that we have tried to get a little sprinkle here and there to come in behind this front, but not much moisture making it down to the ground. One thing that is going to come in behind the front, unfortunately, is some smoke. You just heard in our newscast about the wildfire smoke that is around and because our wind direction is shifting out of the northwest, we're anticipating that that smoke is going to get a little thicker heading into the day on Wednesday, particularly along the mountain ridges, which is where we do have an air quality alert. It includes Yakin and Surrey counties, also down to the south toward Charlotte and to the east toward Raleigh. Now this is an air quality code orange for particulate matter or smoke. It is, means that it will likely reach unhealthy levels for our sensitive groups, folks that already have heart and lung issues, folks that spend a lot of time outdoors working, young folks as well as older folks may have some difficulty with breathing and maybe some coughing. So you want to limit the amount of time that you do spend outdoors breathing in that smoke. Now tomorrow morning, temperatures are in the upper 50s in the mountains and low to mid 60s as we start the day in the triad. We quickly jump to about 80 degrees by lunchtime. It is less humid, so even though we're getting into the upper 80s, I think it's going to be comfortably warm tomorrow for the foothills haze in the air that smoke with a high of 86 north northwest breeze and in the mountains we will have high temperatures in the upper 70s tomorrow afternoon it should be pretty comfortable high pressure is kind of driving that smoke south and east into our area and then there's a big ridge of heat out west where today high temperatures were over 100 degrees across much of Texas even at this hour Dallas at 94 so that bubble of hot air is is slowly going to move to the east. We've largely been without the heat so far this summer. We haven't had our first 90 degree day. That may happen as we head into the holiday weekend. Here is the forecast. We're going to see numbers in the upper 80s for the most part, but potentially around 90 on Sunday. This is not rainy every day, all day, but rather some afternoon showers and thunderstorms, most likely Saturday and Sunday. They may carry us all the way to the fourth. For the foothills, we're also going to be hot with temperatures close to 90 degrees in the afternoon. Afternoon. And in the mountains over the weekend, we've got highs in the low 80s heading into the weekend. Temperatures for the month of July do look like they're going to be warmer than normal across the eastern half of the nation. So for those of you that have been wanting the summer heat, it looks like it may be building into our region. Here's your seven day forecast. It's going to be humid as well as hot over the weekend, which means heat index values could be over 100. Stay with us. We'll be right back.